Uh, how does a contactor work? I'm gonna show you with some continuity here. So when these two leads are touching, I've got continuity. These two right here are just a hot neutral. This is a 120 volt coil. So you can put this wire here. I had it wired to this time clock. You can put it on a smart switch, any light switch that you want and turn on multiple circuits. So you come straight to the breaker into this contactor and then you leave out from the load. So it's line in from the breaker, load out. So let me show you with continuity what I mean. This contactor, because it's off, I don't have continuity. Let's say this is tied to a normal neutral because it's 120 volt coil and this is tied to a switch or this time clock and that cl time clock tells it to turn on. So it's gonna enact this coil just like a switch would make contact. And there you go, we got continuity. When the switch turns off or that time clock says, hey, it's time to turn these lights off or whatever we're turning off, it lets loose. So every pull on this contactor does that. It's off, coil comes on, it's on. Another cool thing about that, these coils you can get in all sorts of voltages, 240 volt, 24 volt, 48 volt. So you can control all different types of things with contactors. One other thing about this, you can loop contactors together because these coils don't pull hardly anything for power. So you can have one switch run 30 circuits or whatever where you just loop coils together on that one switch and it'll turn on however many circuits you want. Pretty cool stuff.